Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great night. Okay, I wanna come on here and do a Q&A. And so a quick Q&A of a couple questions that have been asked. I wanna talk about the Reboot because the Reboot is almost done being sold. So if you've been curious about the 60 hour Keto Reboot and what does that entail? And something that we're gonna cover is, I've gotten this question three times today, so I thought it would be an important question to talk about. And it's, what do you do when your kids go back to school? Or how do you handle kids' lunches? Or what are your kids eating keto? So let's talk about kids. And so, if at all, when you're watching this, if you have a question, comment below what the question is. And if I can read it fast enough, I will try to get to your questions. And so, we will do a live Q&A. Post your questions below, and as I can get to them, I will answer them. Just so you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, so I can't answer any medical questions, but I can just simply share with you what our family has done, how we've incorporated, how we have incorporated, incorporated this lifestyle into our family with our children. And so I'll just start really quick off just by talking about why we started to feed our kids this way. Because oftentimes I hear people, in the very beginning, when we started this three years ago, we got a lot of grief. Like, we got a lot of people saying, I can't believe you won't let your kids have a donut. Or I can't believe that you aren't doing X, Y, and Z. That you're not making chicken nuggets and corn dogs and pizza and Debbie snacks. Like, there was this time where it was probably for about a year where people thought, like, we were harming our children because we decided to feed them vegetables. And so what's funny is fast forward three years and we don't really get a lot of grief at all anymore. And in fact, people just know how we eat and so they really try to adapt when they have us over. But this is what I want you to know is oftentimes I get the question, are your kids keto and why are they keto? And, and how do you get them to eat all those foods? So number one, my kids are not strict keto. There are kids and there are families that I have met that have to be, their kids have to be on the ketogenic diet for medical reasons. My children are not. And so the reason I can say my kids are in ketosis for a good chunk of their day is my kids drink this. And we'll talk about this later, but we eat low carb or some people would say lazy keto or keto-ish. That's how I feed my girls. So I want to give you an example because three people asked me this question today and they said, how am I supposed to send my kids back to school if I'm trying to feed them better, but they're gonna to go to school and eat school lunches? So we homeschool, but I wanna give you a couple ideas of what you can do or maybe how you can help them eat better in both situations. And so when we first started feeding our kids this way, it wasn't a, uh, we cleaned out the fridge and then we ate everything that was better a better option. It was one thing at a time. So if you're just starting and your goal is to get your family eating this way, guess what? We didn't start with clearing out the fridge and going, ape, sorry, like we're eating all brand new foods. It was one meal at a time. It was, we started with breakfast. When the cereal boxes were empty, we didn't buy them anymore. When the goldfish was gone, I didn't buy it anymore. And so it was one thing that I was like, what could we replace with that? When the gummy snacks were gone, I said, girls, we have fruit. Do you want some fruit? We go through a lot of berries. The girls like berries, but so that's what we did. And we tried to have, we would try to talk about, we didn't talk about being on a diet. We didn't talk about being fat. We talked about fueling our bodies the best we can. We talked about how we all wanna be healthy and be able to run outside and play together and have a fun time as a family. And so that's the conversations that we had. I involve the girls when we cook and I involve the girls in meal prepping and I involve the kids when we go to the grocery store. Some people say like they hate taking their kids to the grocery store. And if that doesn't work for you because you spend too much money, I totally understand. But if you can get them on board with what you're doing and if you can teach them as you're grocery shopping the things to look for, it becomes an entire family, like we're all doing this together. And so every time we tried a new vegetable, so like breakfast was easy. It got to the point where it was like bacon, eggs, sausage. If you were going to school, which school is starting very soon, what we used to do is we would cook a whole bunch of bacon or sausage or I would make a, like an egg bake, right? I just wouldn't put the breadcrumbs or get resourceful. Go to Pinterest, it is your best friend, and just type in like keto breakfast. There's different muffins you can make. There's lots of different things that you can do. Excuse me, I feel, I feel, I don't even know why I feel, but anyways, and so what I was, so that's what we did. And I, I, have, I hear people all the time go, but we're in a hurry, how do we get out of the door? So you keep stuff in your refrigerator and then you zap it for the next couple of days. It works brilliant. We did it this morning. We had too much bacon and eggs or something from the other day and we warmed it up this morning. The kids ate breakfast, we started our homeschool. 
And so I tell people, don't mess up good for perfect and don't get hung on like oh, everything has to be 100%, especially the older your kids are because you're gonna have to break some of those habits. And so for lunch, what we did is we just stopped buying bread. We stopped buying the buns. So this is my advice for you for school is either you do the best that you can when your children are home with you and then if they go to school, like you, as, as your children watch you and as you make better choices in your home, your kids are naturally gonna choose better options at school. Like my kids, I don't ever have to say take off the bun. If we go someplace, they just, they just take off the bun because first of all, a burger tastes better without the bun and they've just watched us do it. I never said, don't eat that bun, it's gonna hurt you or like, don't eat the bread, we don't eat that. I just was like, man, this tastes way better without the bun and I'm adding avocado to it and I'm adding an egg on my burger. And, and so they watched us and then the longer you don't eat it, when you go back to eat it, you're like, this stuff tastes like a sponge. How in the world do people eat it? But they watch you. So don't get caught up in the lunches at school. You can either A, pack your own lunch, right? Simple things, meats and cheeses, vegetables that you can do like uh, cold veggies and ranch dip. You can do pickles. You can do ham cream, just pickle roll-ups. You can do hard-boiled eggs. And there's lots of different options. You can do a low-carb wrap. Your kids don't have to, I mean, depending on where your kids are at, my kids love low-carb wraps with peanut butter on it. And so there are, there is a good, a better, and a best option. The best option is might be what you make them at home. You can make a better option for school. If they go to school and they eat whatever the school provides them, guess what? You feed them the best you can breakfast and dinner. And it's okay. When my kids go out of my house, if I'm not in control of what they eat, guess what? They may eat junk. I mean, they may go to a friend's house or a family member's house and I'm not in control of what they eat. And my girls know just by how they feel because if they, if, if they eat something and the longer your kids follow you and if they get a stomach ache, my kids will go, man, I've got a stomach ache. And I'll go, oh, what did you eat? And they'll be like, oh, I ate a couple cookies at that birthday party. And they're like, maybe next time I should only have one. So I don't immediately like, you shouldn't have eaten that. I walk them through why they might feel the way they feel or, hey, have you drinking enough water today? Does your tummy hurt? Maybe you should drink some water or what did we eat for breakfast? Maybe we should try something different. And so it's not like a reprimand. It's like we're learning as we go of how our bodies are feeling. And so my kids are not perfect. My kids eat the best they can in our home when I have control of what they're eating. But when they're out and about, they, they choose their food. And sometimes they choose good, really well and sometimes they don't and then they feel it. And then they'll tell me like, I didn't choose a very good option. Because we as adults know that we all do the same thing. So I don't expect my kids to be perfect at all. So for lunches, I think something that we could collaborate on while a lot of you have kids going back to school, if you make your own lunches, share below like, what are some things that you're doing to add to your kids' lunches that might make them better? What are some easy things to pack? What do your kids like in their lunch pail? And so that's a great, just, just share that. We always say collaboration is currency. So it helps if you share what you're doing so other moms and other dads or parents can look through and pack their kids' lunches. So don't mess up good for perfect. We did one meal at a time, one snack at a time. Our family took six to eight months to get to where we are today. Fast forward three years, we have been able to create this and make it a lifestyle and we all feel great. And so if you have any other questions about kids, just be watching the page. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one specific day during the week and I'm just gonna interview my kids. My kids are gonna share what they eat. And so if you have kids and if you want them to watch other kids, I thought I would get them more, more involved. We'll share some more recipes. I'll have them start creating more things. And then it can help spur other kids to go, oh, they're eating vegetables, maybe I should try something. And so be watching for that. I don't know what day of the week that will be. I've gotta think of a catchy phrase. And so we'll be doing that starting soon. Okay, the reboot. A lot of people have been asking about this. Um, this keto, 60 hour keto reboot is available only for the next couple of days. I think they extended it. It might be until the ninth or unless it's sold, unless it's gone. So for those of you who have done this, share with, me below what you love about this, but if you've ever done any type of like, well, your phone, like whose phone ever needs to be rebooted, right? Have you ever rebooted your phone? Cause I'm like, uh, this is not working or your computer or whatever that is, your car engine, right? And so the same with your bodies, your body gets like, well, you could get to the point where maybe you went on vacation or whatever the case may be and you just need a reboot. That's what this is. And so Prove It created a 24 hour ecosystem. And what does this look like? 
This is something that you are going to do. If you decide to join us, we're gonna start August 19th. Thousands of us are gonna do this together. And what you're gonna do is you are going to be put into a private Facebook group and you're gonna be coached from the experts that created this. I did not create this, but I have done this many, many, many times. And so we're gonna start on a Sunday night. This is what I wanna walk you through. If you are joining us, if you have joined us, for leading up into the reboot, oftentimes I'll have people go, they will binge on food the night before they do the reboot and they have a little bit of a harder time going through it. And so what I want you to do is, if you are deciding to do this with us or if you wanna do this, you can either message me and post reboot below or just go to ketomom, ketomomreboot.com, K-E-T-O-M-O-M, ketomomreboot.com and you can get it. And so I want you, I wanna show you what's in this but I also want to walk you through what to do before the reboot and after the reboot because it's so, so, so important so that you don't just throw it all away or so that you don't have a hard time going through it. You're not going to eat for 60 hours. Now, here's the deal. You're going to start on Sunday. You're going to eat whatever you want on Sunday. I prefer that you eat better, low carb, get your body used to just eating clean, right? And then what you're going to do is that night you're going to start with a keto tea and you're gonna drink this. You've got a chocolate option and you've got the, let me think if I, let me see if I can find it. You've got the caramel apple and you're gonna start with one of these. You're gonna drink these every night. So you've got three of these to drink and you are going to mix it up and you're going to, three or four? Sunday night, two, yeah, three. And you're gonna drink these and what you're gonna do is you are going to drink it in like a mug. It's like drinking tea before you go to bed and this is how you're gonna start. Then the next day, you're gonna wake up on Monday and you're gonna drink your Keto Max. This is what I drink, I drink this every single day. I have for three years. I call this my mom fuel. And I drink this, I don't need a nap. I haven't needed a nap in three years. I've got four girls, we homeschool. If you need a nap every day, like I haven't taken a nap and I've never felt better. So there's many, many benefits to this, but this is a part of your reboot kit. So you're gonna drink this one and then you're gonna go about your day, and then all of a sudden it's lunchtime, and then lunchtime comes around, and you are gonna drink one of these two. This one tastes like a keto, like Thanksgiving in a cup. This one's my favorite, I drink it cold, the broth, and this one tastes like it's salted caramel, but I drink it cold. This is your lunch, and this is your dinner. And then you're also gonna drink a, ca a max uh, caffeine-free. Here's the deal, there's no shortage of something to drink. It's not like it's easy. Like this isn't easy. You're gonna get you're gonna get to the point where you might be a little hungry, but you're constantly fueled with electrolytes. You've got the broth, you've got the tea, you've got the keto max, and so you're not gonna feel yucky. And if you do, guess what? You're put into a private Facebook group where you're like, "Hey, I may like how am I feeling?" And I'll be like, "Grab some Himalayan salt or some extra water." And so, what is the keto reboot for? There's a lot of people that do it because they've reached a plateau. There's a lot of people that do it because they just need to get a hold of their food. Some people start this and go, I just need to start on my health and fitness journey and they start here. Or there's people that I have that have done this for years that have been eating keto, ketogenic lifestyle, low carb, whatever it is, paleo or vegetarian. And they're like, I just wanna amplify what I'm doing and take it to the next level. Everybody's on their journey, on their own pace. There's no specific way. It's just starting. It's just going, you know what? I'm gonna do this. This is what I, I heard a really good quote today. You wanna know what the quote is? It says, most people don't say no because they don't wanna do something. They say no because they're afraid of their yes, right? They're afraid of being held accountable to something. They're afraid of being a failing at something because they said yes and they're like, oh shoot, like I've actually gotta show up. And so I would say show up for yourself, show up for your health. Are you on a journey to better and are actually pursuing it? Are you doing it just dabbling? Are you doing it like full in? Are you doing it? I would say commit. now. Here's the deal. I love this 60 hour keto reboot. The reason I love this, I think the biggest thing and the couple of the benefits after doing this is it helps you understand that food doesn't have to control you, you control it, number one. Number two, how often times that you go into the kitchen to grab food because the kitchen is convenient or you're standing in the kitchen washing dishes and you just automatically open the door and you're not even hungry. It helps you go, huh. Like, am I eating out of emotion? And am I eating because my kids have food on their plate? Am I eating because I want with my girlfriends? Like, it really helps you stop and think and go, is my body hungry or not? It is a mind game. Like, let me tell you, your mind will help you, make you go, are you hungry? Like, I'm hungry. I'm not chewing something. I gotta make my kids food. It is 
crazy, but when you come out of it, the energy, the focus, the clarity, like, ah, oh, I've got this under control is phenomenal. The support, the education behind it is, it's, it's phenomenal. And I love prove it in the fact that they keep educating us and they keep going and they're not stopping where we're at. And so I would say this, if you want to get the 60 hour keto reboot, you've got, the, oh, and you know what I forgot to show you? Sorry, I forgot to show you the capsules. Along with everything you take, there's these little capsules called Signaling OS. And you'll be educated more in the private Facebook group, but this is more like for longevity, for DNA repair. There's lots of benefits for it. And so uh, post reboot below, I can get you the information. Go to ketomomreboot.com. Just get your kit. Have a friend join you. It is way easier to do it with a spouse when both of you are on board. So have your spouse join you. Uh, ask a neighbor, ask a girlfriend, doesn't really matter. Do it with somebody and we'll, pl we'll plug you into the group and it's super helpful. So I love it. I think it's super powerful. Um, I have had the question, uh, can I do it when I'm pregnant? And you're not supposed to do it with pregnant or nursing. So there you go. This is supposed to be a Q&A as well. So if you have questions real quick while I'm doing this. So we talked in the very beginning, go back. We talked about kids' lunches. Why my kids eat this way? Why are our kids? And, and you know what? The biggest thing I forgot to say is, if you back up and go to the beginning of my video, my kids are not on a diet. My ki I'm not trying to have my children lose weight. When you actually study the power of ketones or how to eat better and how food fuels your brain and especially ketones, and if you knew what I know, and if you sat with these experts in this field, you would go, oh my goodness, why would I not fuel my kids' brains the best that I can? And so watching what sugar does to your brain, you can just feed your kids sugar and watch how they act and go, that's not helping anything. And so my whole focus, or my husband and I's focus of why we feed our kids this way is to help them become just better in school, focus, uh, just how they act, their mood, their sleep. All of these things affect our children, right? The foods that you feed your kids affect the way that your kids sleep. Their dreams, their sleeping patterns, their energy throughout the day, good or bad, the way they focus in school, the things they memorize, the things they remember. And so food is powerful, and that's why we went after it with our children as well. And so the Keto Reboot is amazing. I would highly recommend going to get it. If you have questions or if you've been curious about what to feed your kids for lunches, we talked about school lunches in the very beginning or also share what you pack for your kids for lunches because um, I think that's important. And then I think I'm scrolling through and I don't see a lot of questions, but if you have any questions, please, please, please post um, and I will try to answer those. Lastly, if you don't want to start here, if you're like, what in the world? Why would I start with this keto reboot? But you want to start somewhere. I need some water. Um, <clears throat> this is where I started. And so I'll just briefly touch on this. I talk about it often, but pure therapeutic ketones are powerful. And so I would say if you're not ready to jump into a 60 hour keto reboot, I would just say post a five or 10 below and just Ask for information of a five or 10 day experience because this is what I drink. This is what I have drink every single day for the last three years. I call it my mom fuel. We've got a variety of the flavors. And what this is, is it helps you with your energy. It helps you with your focus. And ketones are powerful for appetite and uh, skin and sleep and better mood and digestion and muscle preservation and better in the gym. It helps with the way you take in oxygen. Like ketones are powerful. And so if you're not ready to dive into the 60 hour keto reboot, we do this every single month. So you can join us in September, you can join us in October, you can join us whenever it works best for you. If you want help with food, I can help you with that. And I have a whole list of foods of how we started, the things we implemented, how we keep it simple. And I can give you that. Or start with a five or 10 day. This is powerful. This is where I started. This is what I drink every single day. This gives me that mom fuel to do the things that I, I wasn't, I, I'm not just going through life or going through my day, getting through my day. I am able to charge through my day. I'm able to conquer my day. I'm able to get through the things like homeschooling and cleaning my house and providing for our family and making meals and going to the park today and going for a walk and all of those things that sometimes we just feel like, ah, I don't have enough time for. Like, Besides the fat loss that people love about this, right? Besides the energy, which is my favorite, besides the mental clarity, this is, it's just pure brain fuel. And you are going to see, there's no shortage of education, which I can give you. But what I love about the company Prove It is they're constantly going, how can we innovate? How can we make this better? What can we do to help other people? And so that's it. That's all I've got for you. If you've got questions, please let me know. And... 
post reboot below, post five or 10 day experience below, or like we talked about in the beginning, share what you do if your kids are eating this way and if you make your own lunches for your kids. A big question is school kids or school and lunches. And so share your tips and tricks about that. And uh, I think that's it. So I don't think I see any other questions. I will send you some information about the five and 10 day experience. My favorite is this one. And so, okay, everybody, I hope you have a great night. I vowed if you watched my accountability video this morning that I was gonna get up early in the morning and go to the gym because I've been slacking. I've been working out, but not nearly what I need to work out and not nearly as hard. I've not been pushing myself, so I'm gonna get my booty out of bed and go to the gym early this morning. And I will promise you I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna post a video. So. I hope you guys all have a great night. Let me know if you have any other questions. Please private message me. I answer all of them every single day. It might take me a good chunk of the day to get to everybody, but I will answer those. And so have a great night and we'll talk to you soon.